It truly is a pleasure to be with all of you. And uh, uh, my area of expertise is actually using satellite data, remote sensing uh, techniques, and applications to land surface analysis. So uh, there are there are some interfaces with. Uh, the interest that some of you may have, but certainly with engineering and physics and, and related activities. But it's wonderful to have you here for the National Hydraulic Engineering Conference. Uh, Ohio University is very pleased to be the host of this conference. Uh, as Dr. Sargan said, I joined Ohio University last year, a little over a year ago, and uh, it's been a wonderful uh, transition to Ohio. Uh, I'm very proud of Ohio University. Uh, we. Uh, for those of you that may be less familiar, and I know that you're coming from all over the United States, uh, we have about approximately 37,000 students in total. Uh, we have our core campus in Athens, but we have regional campuses around the state, uh, including a, a regional campus on the suburbs here of Columbus and Dublin, uh, but also we have a medical facility campus in uh, Cleveland next to the Cleveland Clinic, and we're developing a, a new opportunity in, in the suburbs of Dayton uh, not too far from Wright-Patterson Air Force Base around some of the uh, engineering opportunities. But uh, our university uh, has really, uh, if you look at our campus, any of you that have been in Athens, it reflects a lot of engineering. In fact, uh, a lot of hydraulic engineering because uh, the river course, uh, the Hocking River, which is a tributary of the Ohio River, uh, was actually totally relocated, the channel uh, of the river to move it away from campus uh, more significantly uh, about 40 years ago. And uh, that was a significant change. We used to have a lot of flooding on campus, and occasionally we still come close to having some flooding on campus. Uh, but we also structurally uh, do a lot of uh, uh, special drainage techniques. And even the way we uh, design our buildings on campus uh, reflects the uh, the, the closeness of the, uh, the underground water and also the proximity of uh, surface water as well. We, uh, you, you see, and I don't, I guess it's up here, but I saw in some of the slides uh, the Rust, the reference to the Rust College of Engineering and Technology. And uh, for those of you that not, may not be aware, uh, Fritz Rust is a graduate of Ohio University. His wife, uh, Dolores, and he uh, left the university a substantial gift, over a $100 million gift, in naming uh, the Rust College of Engineering and Technology at Ohio University. And that's been a really transformative gift for the college and for our university. And we're in the planning stages and as, an, as part of that uh, gift of building a new uh, state-of-the-art research uh, building for our College of Engineering and will certainly be beneficial to our civil engineers uh, as well as our hydraulic engineers. Uh, but, uh, but again, that gift uh, was truly transformative. And also, the, the 60 acres that we have over in Beaver Creek, the suburbs of Dayton, was part of that gift as well with eight buildings over there. So um, anyway, Ohio University is a great place, a great place for uh, engineering education. Uh, we do have, uh, and you saw uh, some of the work of the Ohio Research Institute for Transportation and the Environment. Uh, we are able to provide students really with firsthand types of experiences and studying different types of, of pipe uh, drainage infrastructure as it relates to the Department of Transportation and many other dimensions of uh, uh, civil engineering and hydrology as well. Different types of underground structures. We've been a national leader in, in really uh, analyzing underground structures and their sustainability. Uh, in our state, we have two of the world's largest thermoplastic pipe manufacturing companies, and that provides significant opportunities as well to our students uh, and for collaborations uh, with our faculty. About 40% of our Ohio University civil engineering bachelor's degree graduates go into transportation or hydraulic uh, engineering, so there's a significant uh, focus in that as well. But again, we're very proud of the Rust College, but we're also proud to have all of you here in the state of Ohio and to host this very important conference as you share uh, your research uh, activities and its applications to create a better tomorrow for our citizens in our respective states and for our nation as a whole. Thank you again for being here in Columbus, and we appreciate uh, so much uh, your participation in this conference. Thank you very much.